Well, not far from where I'm standing is the Middle Ear Recording Studios, owned by the marvellous Bee Gees, where gigantic hits have been recorded by everyone, from Michael Jackson to Barbara Streisand. Well, here I am in the Bee Gees studios, and with the three lovely lads, here they are. <laughs> Morris, our Robin, and our Barry. And I, I have to say, so? hello, lads. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, sir. Everywhere I've gone in Miami, they've given me either their business cards mm. or a prezi. And I thought I'd bring a very special prezi to you. Thanks and here it is. It's not quite a gold oh, disc, ooh. but it's, it's from it? Bal Harbor. It's a chocolate disc. <laughs> it's a chocolate disc. There's no writing in the middle. Sir. I noticed Well, that. that'll come later, We could fill, fill it in I'll, ourselves. I'll right? do that in myself later. Okay, yeah. you'll fill it in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Thanks, very nice. Thanks a lot. Well, you're very welcome. Now, when did you settle here? Uh, actually, we moved here in 1977 uh, with... Uh, our friend Eric Clapton told us about the studios here, and you could rent a house and you could record here. And uh, we decided to do that. And we came and stayed in the same house he rented. And uh, people cooked for you and stuff like that. So you just lived in and then went to the studio in the afternoon and the weather. It was, it was beautiful. We it's terrific. We just fell in love. Yes. But, I mean, let's talk about your songs. Of because the soundtrack <laughs> of Saturday Night Fever, <laughs> I, I can't believe this. It was the top of the billboard charts, the soundtrack, for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we were mixing a live album, and Robert and Al Curry, the president of the label, uh, RSO, came to see us and said, you know, we've got this film with John Travolta, uh, tentatively called Tribal Rights of a New Saturday Night. That was the title. And did we have a better title, A, and did we have any songs, B? So, um, A, we suggested Night Fever, and they thought that was a bit pornographic, but they would think about it, so... <laughs> They went away and thought about it, and they said, well, if we stick Saturday in front of it, it sort of works. So that's where that came from. And, um, and we were uh, writing at the same time as mixing the live album, so we said, well, here's some demos, and they just happened to be the demos that they wanted, and the first one we played was How Deep Is Your Love, and, um, and more than, no, not more than a woman. I, I can't have you. I recorded that, yeah. you know. Actually, did you really? What, I How did. Deep Is Your Love? Well, you're probably never going <laughs> to... I did, I did. I recorded I that. Know. Bruce Welch um, produced oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been absolutely great talking to you, and I don't want to ask you this, but I will. Yeah. Could you just sing? I know you've got no instruments or nothing with you, but could you give us a little bit of well, music? Well, so we don't know. Go? <laughs> I'll go on, go on, sing a cappella. Let me think. Okay. <clears throat> Even a cappella. I'll just sing the music. Remember, there's people watching. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do half of those and go straight to the court. Oh, right. <laughs> There's a light. I'm singing. Yeah, I know. Okay. Certain kind of light. That never shine on me. I'm still singing. Yeah. I want my life to be. Live with you. <clears throat> Live with you. Baby, you don't know what it's like. Baby, you don't know what it's like. To love somebody, to love somebody, the way I love you. Oh, yes. What, what can I say? That was well, that, absolutely lovely. wonderful. <laughs> no, it was great. Thanks, thank, thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Ella. It's been lovely talking to you. Likewise. Mm. Do you know, I, I've never ever seen Miami at night. <laughs> well, well uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> You're Your not gonna dream is going to come true. Yeah. What yeah. now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I think I'd better order a taxi then. I think the time when uh, it was the most inspiring is when we first came here in 77, when there was a lot of uh, great musicians working here, uh, people that were playing that didn't often come, but just recorded here. So we had to work with some great people, and I think that was one of the biggest inspirations. And now it's even attracting more different kinds of music, and it's a, it's a, it's a cosmopolitan it's place, a it's a total really. mixture of culture. Now, a little birdie tells me, I've heard, is this true? You are actually going to switch on the lights in Blackpool? Ah, ah yes. We were asked and uh, we were honoured to, to say yes. Uh, Radio sure 1 were involved and they said, you know, they invited us to do it. 
I think it's great because I remember even being younger, I remember people doing that. I thought what an honor that was, you know. But you've got to get in the mood. Yeah. So what are you going to give us at Blackpool when you switch on the lights? <laughs> We used to love me tomorrow.